On every single day over the past year, the world's oceans have broken temperature records thought to be because of climate change. Figures from the EU climate service Copernicus show last month was globally warmer than any previous April in records dating all the way back to 1940. Justin uh, Rolat joins us now from Anglesey, our climate editor. Justin, good to have you. It feels like each time a record is broken, you're here to explain why it's important. Why is this one particularly important? Look, all these records are important because what they tell us is a story of ever increasing temperatures. But the run of records that we've had is just extraordinary. As you say, 11 months setting new monthly record temperatures for the air, a full year in which every single day has been a record temperature for that day. And these, temp these records are not being broken by m small margins. They're not being kind of edged past. They are being smashed. So on around 47 days over the course of the last year, the temperature was, the previous high temperature was exceeded by 0.3, a third of a degree Celsius. Now that may not sound much, but we are talking about a global average across all the seas and oceans on Earth. So that is a huge margin. And it tells us that steadily over the years, global temperatures really are going up and it's affecting marine ecosystems. So we know, for example, that the world's coral reefs are experiencing a global mass bleaching event. That means across all the ocean basins of the world, we are seeing evidence of corals bleaching. They go white, they expel the algae that live within them that give them colour, and that makes them... Uh, it puts them, makes them vulnerable um, and they can die as a result of bleaching. So terrible threats to our uh, coral reefs. There are also issues with emperor penguins in Antarctica that are finding it hard to build their nests on sea ice because it's breaking up and falling into the ocean. That's a real threat to them. But we're also seeing it. You're probably wondering why am I in this extraordinary location in North Wales? I'm here because it's affecting all the oceans of the world. Uh, UK seas have seen temperatures rise by about one degree Celsius over the last few decades, and that is changing the population of plants and animals in places where I am now, in case you were wondering. Beside the magnificent Menai Bridge, the world's first uh, uh, full-scale suspension build, bridge built in 1826 by Thomas Telford, and it spans North Wales over there to here on Anglesey. And I've been down with scientists who've been monitoring the populations of plants and animals on the beach here for around 70 years. And they say they've seen really dramatic changes. They sound quite subtle, but things like top cell populations changing, new species coming in. These, are, these are, seem like small changes to us, they are revolutions in terms of ecosystems, huge upheavals in ecosystems, and that is happening, cascading across the world as a result of these ever-increasing temperatures. And Justin, you have a great uh, long piece online which I encourage people to read. In it, you write uh, that the oceans have been Earth's get-out-of-jail card. Why are they so important for us as well? That's a really good question. So the oceans kind of soak up about 90% of the excess heat created by climate change, by global warming. They also draw about 25% of the carbon dioxide that we're pumping into the atmosphere, human beings, the additional carbon dioxide that we're adding to the atmosphere, that is drawn out into the oceans. But it's kind of like a radiator in your home, a great, I mean, it really is, a great reservoir of water, slowly warming. And there comes a point where, obviously, it's going to be radiating that heat back into the atmosphere and, and won't be able to fulfill that role as a kind of heat sink, if you like. It'll begin to deliver heat back to the atmosphere. And that appears this year to be happening with these exceptionally hot oceans we've seen in the Pacific, largely there because of this El Nino, this recurring weather pattern. But what's been so interesting, so striking, is that other ocean basins have been have very high temperatures. The Atlantic, the Indian Ocean, for example, the Mediterranean is very hot as well. And that isn't easily explained by El Nino. Um, El Nino, the effects of El Nino are beginning to, it's past its peak and is beginning to fade now, but we're still seeing uh, you know, areas of great heat in the Atlantic, as I say, the Mediterranean and the Indian Oceans. And it'll be interesting to see how that develops and whether we're seeing a kind of step change in the behavior of the oceans, which is something that some, not all, but some uh, climate scientists fear could be happening. So you're absolutely right to say these are dramatic changes we're seeing in, in the world's oceans. All right, Justin, thank you so much for all that valuable context and for breaking this down for us.